As one of the larger trike kits available, the Invisigard Paint Protection Kit for Harley-Davidson Triglide Ultra is a rather simple and straightforward kit to apply. You want to start getting familiar with the kit by carefully trimming each piece from the sheet and dry fit in each area of application. This will assist in proper placement and help you to appreciate areas of coverage. The Triglide kit features 8 pieces, while the freewheeler contains 11. Removing the seat allows access to the side cover tops, which makes it easier to apply the top area that protects from seat abrasion. How clean the areas of application are is directly proportionate to how well the job turns out. We suggest a neutral cleaner such as Rapid Prep and lint-free cloths or paper towels. Take care to make sure all waxes, polishes, tar, road debris and bug remains are removed and areas of chipping are touched up. It also is a good idea to wipe the top of each protector piece so as to remove any dust or debris from manufacture or shipping. As you'll notice in this video, prior to placing each piece in the respective areas of application, we spray the area and squeegee so as to remove any airborne dust that may have settled after the initial cleaning. Starting with the smallest pieces of the kit, be sure to spray application fluid liberally on the bike surface as well as on your fingers. Keeping your fingers wet prevents dry skin from transferring to the adhesive causing visible fingerprints in the film. Install inside a clean, warm, and well-lit area. The application should occur out of the wind and in an area that is well above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. With the piece properly placed, go ahead and spray the top surface of the protector to allow the squeegee to glide freely. The act of squeegeeing assists in removing air and water from between the bike surface and the adhesive side of the protector, as well as setting the piece with an increasing amount of pressure as you squeegee. On to the next piece. Setting the bottom part of the heel piece allows you to stretch the upper area slightly into place. Don't forget to keep your fingers nice and wet. As somewhat of a two-part application, it seems to be easier to apply the vertical side of the side cover first, followed by the top area. Aligning the piece along the rear of the side cover, approximately a sixteenth inch from the rear edge, work from top to bottom at the rear, and then move forward and down as shown. Keep in mind that paint protection film can be stretched into place. It proves to be very flexible and we design most pieces a bit short so they can be stretched to the edge. The 
final area shown, that being the fender front, seem to require a bit more attention. Take care to select the correct piece for the corresponding fender according to the parts list we offer on our website. Starting at the bottom of the fender, set approximately 2-3 to three inches at the bottom so the upper area can be stretched into place. Notice the fingers at each side of the fender piece when the protector is relaxed. These fingers or puckers will disappear when the piece is correctly stretched into place. Now, taking each corner of the upper area, carefully and firmly stretch the piece into place. Using the squeegee, work the squeegee from the bottom attached area up about halfway, using a soft lift motion at the top so as to not create a hard squeegee line where the squeegee left off. Then, reset the upper area making sure there is adequate solution behind the protector. Once properly reset, treat the upper area by moving up through the center first, then resetting and squeegeeing the left and right respectively. You can then complete the application by spraying the entire protector and squeegeeing it firmly so as to force any solution or air left behind. Proceed to clean, enjoy and rest assured your bike is now protected.